Hey everyone, it's Linda. And as you may have gathered from the title of this video, today we're gonna to be doing a peel on my face. I'm gonna be using this exact same peel pad that I used in an earlier video on my that I did for my chest and my neck. And I've just gotten out of the shower, so my face is clean, dry, completely oil-free. And I'm gonna show you what products I'm gonna use other than the peel pads. Okay, aside from the peel, as I showed you before, the same peel I used last time, I'm gonna be using this vitamin E oil, and I'm gonna put this on the corners of my mouth, my eyes, and around my nose. I have this Mad Hippie oil that I'm gonna put on once the peel is complete. I also have this hydrocortisone cream, just in case I become extremely irritated. I have a piece of gauze. I'm gonna dip this gauze into the solution because there's a lot of excess solution and not that many pads left. So I'm just gonna use some gauze of my own, saturate that, wipe it on my face, and I have a glove to protect my hands. Okay, so I have the vitamin E here. I'm just gonna get a little bit on my finger. I'm just gonna apply it right here in the corners of my mouth, around the corner of my eyes, around my nose, right on the tip here. Areas that tend to be really sensitive and peel more. All right, so let me get my glove on. Now I'm going to take this pad and I'm going to get this pad wet. So I'm going to take the piece of gauze and I'm going to dip it down into the container and get it totally saturated. And then I'll squeeze out any excess. And now we're just going to apply that to the face. And you can see, I pretty much immediately start turning a little pink. You don't want to get super close to your eyes, but you do want to go, you know, up pretty close. Some people do use it on their eyes. I don't think I want to do that. I'm going to come down around the chin. So our peel looks even. Okay, we're gonna give this about a minute and I'll check back in. All right, I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but I'm starting to see a little frosting in this area here, a little hazy mess to my skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this off now and I'll be back. Okay, I've rinsed and dried my face and it's feeling pretty, uh, pretty tingly. So we're gonna use some of the Mad Hippie oil just to calm it down a little bit. And if you hear a noise in the background, today's trash day. I'm sorry. And again, I have this cortisone cream just in case my face should start getting really super irritated. Then I will just put a little bit of this on. And I'll check in with you guys throughout the week and we'll see how this peel's going. Today is Monday, so I figure by Wednesday I should start peeling and uh, looking pretty unattractive. See you guys later. Good morning, it is Tuesday, day two of the peel, and I'm gonna move you in close. As you can see, the skin is starting to darken and become extremely leather-like. I'm having some slight peeling through here, through my eyebrows. And it feels, 
Can you hear that? It, it sounds like, it sounds very rough. So that's day two, no peeling yet, but it's working its way in that direction. I'll check in with you guys tomorrow. Hello, it is now the afternoon of day two, and I'm gonna to attempt to show you, no, I haven't put any makeup on. I'm gonna to attempt to show you that I've started peeling. I'm gonna get close as I possibly can and hope that this will pick up. But the peeling has started, my friends. Good morning, it is day three, and I wanted to get on here this morning before I got in the shower, because I know once I do that a lot of the skin just gonna roll off my face. I'm gonna bring you in closer, and hopefully you can see how much peeling is going on. I'm gonna get you as close as I can, and hope that it picks up. I could literally just pick up huge amounts of skin through here, this area is not quite ready to peel yet, but this is just coming, ready to come off, I should say, in layers, I believe. So I don't know, like I say, I hope it's picking up. So I'll check in with you guys tomorrow. Okay, I'm in my bathroom, and I think this lighting might be a little bit better. But yeah, I'm peeling like crazy. Good morning. It is day four, and it's time for a check-in. And... I just cannot get this lighting to pick up how much I am actually peeling. I'm starting to peel through here. And a lot of peeling going on down here. This redness will probably go away in a couple of days. I'm all finished peeling through here. And there's a lot of peeling going on over, going on over here. This really dark spot that will all peel away. It's not quite ready yet. So I figure another day or two of peeling and it should all be done. So I'll check in tomorrow. Good morning, it is day five and I've showered and put my makeup on already because there was really nothing to show you guys today other than the fact that the peel is basically completed. Yesterday morning when I got in the shower, my skin just sloughed off in, in gobs. And then yesterday evening when I washed up for bed, more skin came off and this morning all I had was a few flakes left. So I'm gonna call this peel a success. My skin feels like a baby's behind, it is so soft. And I can definitely see, definitely see that the um, wrinkles are not quite as prominent as they were. And um, so my goal is to do a few more of these peels over a number of months in an attempt to resurface my skin. You know, we've talked over and over again about how sun damaged my skin is. Um, if there was an award on YouTube for the ladies over 50 or 60 with the most wrinkles, I'm pretty sure you're looking at the winner. And aside from the fact that my skin is very sun damaged, wrinkles are hereditary in my family. I have mentioned my mother before, she had beautiful features, but her skin looked like a roadmap. So I'm attempting to fight my genes. I'm attempting to recover from sun damage. And uh, this peel is really um, 
a good weapon in my arsenal of things that I'm using to attempt to slow down the hands of time. Um, and for those of you wondering, all I have on my face as a foundation, I'm using this um, Australian Gold sunscreen because I want to protect this new skin. Just have on a little bit of concealer, the Tarte Shape Tape, and um, I use the City Minis on, on my eyes. And uh, the blush I'm wearing is from Burt Bees. Is that right? Nope. Burt's Bees. It's a uh, stick blush. Very moisturizing blush. Um, my CoverGirl mascara. And on my lips is this uh, Neutrogena. And the color is Fresh Kiwi. So it's kind of a peach face today. So I'm going to give myself a break from any acids, the Retin-A, for at least a good week. And all I'm gonna use on my face are things uh, that are healing and nourishing. I'm gonna continue to use this Mad Hippie Oil. And I also have this uh, Mad Hippie Lotion that I bought last summer. And it has peptides in it, along with some other great ingredients. So I'm gonna use that. I'm not gonna use any acids or my Retin-A for, like I said, at least a week or so. Give my face a chance to heal and recover from this peel but I'm pleased with the results and uh, I'll keep you guys posted. So as always, thanks for watching and until next time,